Ooh boy, we're back in Kingdoms and Castles now. Before we jump right into it, because we're gonna be changing things up, making things absolutely more difficult and more crazy for us today. I wanna ask a question that I love asking when we play Kingdoms and Castles, and that is, do you want to see more? Because we finished a recent series, right? So if the, re the response is really, really good, we could make this a series again. I mean, it's already a, season, a series, so it's like we're making season two. I mean, there's a lot of people, Sun Tzu, uh, via third parties, multiple times said, y we, we gotta do more, right? So what we're gonna be doing is finding one. Now we're gonna be doing standard mode, but here's, uh, here's the issue. Last time we played Summern, which is easy, but this time we're doing Vintar, which is hard. All right, Baron's Brigade, today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Now, as you guys know, <laughs> I mean, I play a lot of games and that includes when I'm on the go, whether it's mobile, my laptop. I love to wear my Raycons because they give me amazing sound quality, all while being comfortable. Raycons are perfect for this because these earbuds have a 32 hour battery life, which is perfect for taking on long trips. Now, Raycons also come with a bunch of gel tips for your comfort and unlike some of the other brands, they don't stick out of your ears. And this is the big one, they never fall out. So I personally love my Raycons and I'm, I'm sure you will too. Raycon is so sure you'll love their earbuds, they come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. That's like 45 days of cheeseburgers. If you wanna support the channel and get yourself some amazing earbuds, well, click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash baron to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. So let's get back to the action. We're gonna go back to the OG of Toastopia. Can I change my banner to bread? Why is there no bread? Ooh, that one's cool. We're definitely gonna be the blue and orange. Go Gators, go Gator Lions. <laughs> but here's the difficult part. We're gonna make a large map. The type is gonna be islands. Ooh, let's add some rivers. I've actually like not seen that. Now right over here, this is blocking the ability to add like a third AI kingdom. But one of the things that we wanna do this time is make potentially hostile kingdoms and the the rule was that we want to put kingdoms, these AI kingdoms on large island masses so that they don't have just like a small little area, but they can actually expand out of. Oh man, the river's awesome. So this is what a river looks like if you want to have one of those generated. We opted for some rivers. Man, imagine putting an AI on this giant one. I wish you could put like two AI empires on it, but I guess that would be a little bit difficult. Holy fish, there are so many fish right right there. What I would love is to be able to be like, okay, I want to be able to choose between like three large islands and three small ones or like be able to set that. Cause now we got to add our rival. I think this one looks pretty good. We've got four, like one, one or two huge islands. I would say this one's large. This one's huge. And these two are sort of like medium, right? And we can only have two AIs. I'm thinking I want this one over here. Lots of arable farmland. We have a little bit of a wolf problem, especially sort of like more towards the West. And there's a witch. How do you know she's a witch? Well, cause she looks like one. And, and she turned me into a newt. This one is just wolf island. But I think we're gonna add our rival, Mutonia. Once upon a time, there was a dragon. All right, Meowtunia, you're over here. We're gonna add another ri rival, maybe Mikey's world. Mikey's World, you're here in Derpy, Australia. We can't add three rivals yet. Unfortunately not. That would be really, really cool. But so now in theory, we're actually going to have to like engage diplomatically with these guys because they might not like me. So we can only choose two islands. And I think this one's the obvious choice. If I put my castle like right around here, I've got access to stone, lots of really juicy farmland. Maybe even here, but there's definitely like lots of wolves around. There are so many wolves. Empty caves, empty caves. They're empty now. Which ones are gonna fill in with, uh... And then it's a matter of, like, where can we build our castle defenses? I think right here, maybe. There we go. The new series, if you guys want it, just began on kingdoms and castles. So, I've got two big things. Tomorrow, we've got a new Bot Wars video coming out, so make sure you hit the bell button. I've got some other things that we're working on that I'm excited to share when I can share them and we get closer to that. But we've been updating Bot Wars quite a bit. So I think what we need to do is chop down all these trees. Luckily, there's no like wolves. So we'll chop down all these trees right here so we can expand. And we want a little path 
proud of wood already <laughs> get to chopping and then once we get to chopping we'll get to housing so that all of our people can get nice beautiful homes so we got a plan i think over here at one point we're gonna probably want to put our first tower but i could chop all these out and then maybe houses over here it's just there's so much farmland i guess building houses up here would make the most sense for now and then extend because like look at this we don't know what the enemy is doing just yet they're what here and up here i think so this island any one of the three of us could colonize it now remember this is also vintar which is uh viking <laughs> for winter meaning things are gonna get tricky okay shortly after that we're gonna want to get some stone yeah i'm gonna have to chop away through here to get access to this stone mine and that should be all of the wood we could ever dream of now does everybody have a home 10 people 15 beds yes they do now what we need to do is the basic requirements Looks like I could put two apple farms right here and then one produce storage right here. But in order to do that, we're going to need stone. So a quarry is definitely next. I like this. Uh, there's more at stake and there's more opportunity for glory, which is honestly the way I prefer it. I mean, that's kind of why I went from YouTube to like getting into games. Oh, we got wolves, baby. We got wolves up there. Okay, I think I like that the wolves seem to spawn far from where you are. I'm curious about the witch. I do not want to knock on her door. We don't want to let her know because basically once you interact with the witch, you've got to stay on good terms with her. Otherwise she gets mad and she knows magic. So <laughs> bad things can, uh, yeah, bad things can definitely happen. We'll probably keep this wood as an early wood cuttery. Speaking of wood cuttery, we're going to need some. No fruit, no bread. Where are you sure? Well, I guess we are growing apples now. My lord, life is good here. Our kingdom has attracted two new peasants. Fantastic. You love to see it. For job priority, I think we need quarry workers above a lot of things right now. Oh, we got a fire already? Oh my god, that's, that's going to burn down. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop it. They're going to have to go all the way out here to get buckets of waters and run back. As is what you would call unfortunate oh my god it's burning two of my houses down three <laughs> please oh one one's destroyed <laughs> this is bad at least they're cheap wood buildings i mean that's the very reason why they burnt down but at the same time you gotta at least save that last one right right guys oh god you did good now i think that's clear that we're gonna need a well next yeah everyone's out of house and home oh my god we're out of food <laughs> Well, where are the apples at? Please harvest these apples. Yeah, Orchardus is the second highest. I guess when the fire struck, there we go. We got food. Okay, we didn't starve to death. Hungry, my house has no food. What does that mean? Hungry, my house has no food. Okay, that, that means exactly what you think it means. <laughs> I don't know why I was confused. Man, it's already year five. Isn't that wild how, how much time is a changing? Now I just need this dang produce storage. And then I think we're starting to be able to get in some business. Could put two more apple orchards there. Got it. Plus 125 food, baby. All right, so where's everybody working? We do need timber. We definitely do. But now we can get a forester. Excellent. This game sort of seems like all about like colonization and, and like landing in new territory. I feel like that would be a really cool concept for like, you know how American set, well, settlers, not American settlers, settlers came to America and founded these little towns and stuff. It'd be really cool to like have that as the setting for this game. Now our objective in this first episode is to get ourselves established and then build a scout ship to see what the AI are doing. Now, I think at the higher level of difficulty that we're going to be in, that means that what we could be seeing is some very, like, much more advanced empires. And that would be quite terrifying because the fact that they could invade us at any time they want, eh, it's not the oh best God. thing, you know? All right, so we're going to build two new cottages to try to attract a lot more people. Once those people arrive, we're going to put them on food duty. Look at all these seagulls. Like, what if, what if you could arm the seagulls to attack people? <laughs> so 20 people in year eight. But as is human history kind of points, like, things really start accelerating. We always start out slow, and then we build something or invent something or discover something, and then boom, we just, like, expand everywhere. All right, we just got two new people. I wonder where they come from. Like, do we birth them? Do they visit on ships? It'd be kind of cool if there was mechanics for, like, both of that. But you have to wonder, with kingdoms and castles being out for so long, how much more updates and contents 
you know, content development are we really going to get? All right, one of the things we can do is start increasing charcoal production over here, I'm thinking. Or maybe even up here. Oh, hey, we're a uh, small village. I thought we were being attacked. Like, I heard this loud trumpet. And I was like, uh, or drum rather. And I was like, what's going on? Are we dead yet? No, no. I say no. You can't be dead if you're not, if you haven't been killed. That Sun Tzu said that. But in year nine, so we got to a small village before year 10. I'd consider that a win. Oh God, dragon attack. It's probably going to be a baby, but now that we're in Vintar, that means we're going to get the big, big dragons. We are going to need to build a dragon killing tower. Not yet, but at some point. And we can't get an archer tower until we can start taxing our peasants. But I don't think we want to levy a tax just yet until we can really get the food pumping in. The dragons have decided, is it a baby? Yeah, it's a baby. Okay, we're fine. He's going up to explore all of the islands, but hopefully he burns my my enemies. <laughs> islands and not mine. Yeah, you can see him. Is he lighting it up? Oh! I think he just burned something, or he was just looking at it. Nobody's shooting arrows. And we know that there's an empire up here. We won't get to see what they do until we get that much needed scouting ship. And I want a little bit of uh, grain production so that I can keep my people happy. And then we want fish and or pork. And I think we could put up a nice little fishing dock over here. We're gonna need gold though for it. Here he is. Oh, my castle shooting at him. Did no one else's castle shoot at him? That's kind of strange, don't you think? Unknown land, neutral. Unknown land, unknown land, neutral. Yeah, so we don't know if someone's there. Interesting. But we put him there, so we kind of know. Why are we... Oh, maybe a dragon attack? That's lame. That's like super lame, dude. Oh, we on fire. All right, we got a little uh, tavern. We gonna get drunk. It's gonna be great. We're gonna make beer out of like, obviously our grains, but also out of like wolf hair. We're gonna be the wolf hair brewery. Oh my God, what do we call this island? Cause technically it's Toastopia, but like, I feel like it needs a name. What is the name of our empire going to be? There we go. We're finally getting like some people flooding in here. Time to open up the quarry again. You can see stockpile bartenders and granary workers is low. Oh, someone lit the brew, like, the tavern on fire, I think. Or I guess it could have just been lightning. Yeah, we need some bread to start coming in here. I mean, uh, some gold so we can get the good stuff. Place a treasure room. Guess that's probably the next thing we should get is a lot of stone to get a treasure room. Oh good, we finally have idle people. Now what if I try to do Cory right here? Oh, baby. 79 happiness due to good health? Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna start growing, I think, pretty expeditiously here from year 16 onward. It's time to tax them. Death and taxes. These are the things we know to catch up with all of us. And it actually levels up my castle, which I think is really cool. Well, it upgrades us into a keep anyway. Okay, time to tax. 5%, give me that gold. We got things to build. We need to build some fish to increase happiness. All, all of it, it seems to be like uh, a fundamental bit of like increasing their happiness so we can make them less happy by them giving us more stuff. And then just finding that sweet little balance. Because if the next dragon attack is in three years, we don't have anything to really deal with that. If I want to be able to archer tower, I'm going to need... Oh, I think I'm, I can do it with anything, actually. I just need the gold. Now to start taking out hovels and putting in cottages, which are a little bit better. I do maintain the idea of like, I think it'd be really cool if you could somehow play as the Vikings. Oh, now we get an advanced town. We're probably gonna need a cemetery at some point, but library would be good. Clinic would be good. Everything you're gonna see here would be really, really good to have. I want a windmill, our first windmill, and then get more farms around it. Oh shoot, Vikings! Okay, uh, do we have- we have four gold. <laughs> wow. And want a church or a library? Guys, stop! You want to survive. I know you want to read books, but you know what's more important than books? Not dying to Vikings. Literally, that's more important. So I- unfortunately, there's nothing I can do other than rely on the arrows in my tower. Now here's the question, which one of these Viking ships, because there's three of them and there's three of us players, right? Well, me and two AIs rather. I think, yeah, this one's definitely gonna hit here. Okay, that's actually good, because if they march up Path of Least Resistance, it should take them pretty close to the tower. I hope they don't veer over to the Forester and Farming area, but we'll see. The Vikings have landed. Now, one thing to keep in mind is they also land kind of far from the enemy as well. All right, Vikings, yeah, yeah, come here. Straight to the castle. What's my range? Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Kill him. 
Kill them before they can do anything. Yes! And they lit one of our houses on fire. But I'd say overall, we did pretty good. Wow, I'm gonna have to get a church well before I can get a library. Or I'm gonna have to up the tax rate. Yeah, minus three because Vikings attack, but plus five because we killed the Vikings. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, the church is gonna be the next big thing we're gonna need. And I'm gonna put it right here. And we're gonna expand our city like this way. This will probably be our big residential area. We're gonna have to protect it. Oh, there's a little baby dragon up here. Yeah. Miss us. Someone didn't defeat their Vikings. Actually, wait. Looks like they did. Looks like all of us did. It was a scouting party. All right, the church is done. That's got to make them happy, right? Yeah. Okay, what do we got to do to get a scouting ship? 75 gold. So I think before we do that, we're going to want to get a fishing hut. Now I can build it on the water. Now what holds the fish? Prepares and stores fish. Okay. Okay. We have our first boat. We can't control it, but we can get some fish. Our first manners. And I moved the charcoal guys down here so that these people wouldn't have to smell burning charcoal. Because this is where we're expanding. At some point, we're going to have to kill these wolves. Actually, some point real soon. I love this game. It's, it's, it's such a, a charming game. Could probably do with some more fish. Oh, it has no tools. We need tools. We need... Where's my nearest source of iron? Way over there. Oh, God. I guess that was a little bit of an oversight, wasn't it? Now, I think the next thing we need to do is kill our first set of wolves. We'll build a wilderness tower. Oh, yeah, that'll cover both of them. Fantastic. We're bringing civilization to this savage land. Hopefully, none of them will die to wolves. <laughs> How is food? Food, we're still at plus 66, and we don't even have anybody working the freaking windmill. Hey, a burgeoning town. Fantastic. Oh god, next Viking attacks in one year. Uh, they attacked here, they like that spot. If I could put a little tower here, that'd also be really good. Make things kind of expensive. I don't know, I, I think we kind of... We've got this tower. Do we have someone to work it? Okay, good. Yeah, guys, uh, warm up by killing some wolves on top of a tower before the Vikings get here. It's... Gonna get hectic. But we're almost there to get an exploration ship. We just need about seven more gold, but I think it would probably be wise to wait. Till after the Vikings attack. Yep, three ships right off of here. We're at 3x speed. Do they just land right away or do they go? They go here. I think, oh, they're landing from the north. That actually could be really good if they get close to this archer. He's got a decent coverage, right? That's who's attacking us, right? Oh my god, this is... This is gonna work out well, and we've also got wolves up there. We may have just defended very, very well against the Vikings. We'll see. Oh man, look at that. That little circle. Oh, they're gonna start getting shot here. Took down about 50%. Oh, they went north. Dang it. They attacked. I, I don't think we were able to kill them. Did we? Did something burn? Where are you going, you little biscuit eaters? I mean, I like biscuits. Don't get me wrong. Oh, they're like, all right, we 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 a oh, good. Baron can't talk. He just uh, d d d over there. So you know, he's a terrible king. We don't like him. All right, we'll get iron up and running. 97 beds. Wait, something did burn. Oh <gasps> no, my brand. And it, I, you can't increase priority like you can in the other kingdom building that we've been playing lately, which is Timberborn. If you ha if you like kingdoms and castles, but you haven't watched Timberborn, check it out. We got a number of episodes and we just recently started a series. It is a sweet game. Very cool mechanics as well. All right, good. Now we got the beds. Thinking what we want to do for food to plan is another fishing hut over here. I like this. This is going to be like the fish port. Fish town. Like, what? what's the area of town where all the fishmongers are at? Smelly town. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. And then once that's done, we're going to build our first ship over there. Where's this guy going? You're walking all the way that way to get to town? Through the dark forest? <laughs> I think they are. Well, all we want right here is just iron. So no wood, no stone, just iron. All right, let's see. It's time. It's time to see what the AI is up to. We're going to build our first ship. So long as our food situation is fine, which I think it is. A dragon sighted. Little baby? Yes. Could burn stuff, hopefully it doesn't. Oh man, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing them build stuff. Okay, a lot of stuff's attacking the dragon. The dragon did get sh is getting shot at though, but he was able to pull off a firebomb. Don't burn my ships. If dragons could attack ships, it would suck if they were your ships, but it would look really cool. I still love the idea of like having diplomacy where you can engage oh, with the uh, with the Vikings and like pay them off or tell them to like attack the other guys or like have AI factions for the Vikings. So there's like a whole political struggle and maybe you could explore the Viking lands. I don't know, man. 
I just, I'm ready for Kingdoms and Castles 2 already. I love this game so much. 23 wood, but luckily we have all of our wood right here for our shipbuilding. All right, the exploration ship is here. It's time to circumnavigate. Control groups would also be cool. So it's such a big island, like, oh, Unknown Kingdom, it's a, it's a lady. We haven't met her yet, and oh, we just now discovered their first little structure. They've got some quarries over here. I still think the pathfinding for the ships is a little wonky. I wonder if we're gonna see her stuff. I gotta make sure that food is okay while I'm away. And I'm gonna close you and you too, just to get some people to get going on more food. Okay, I, I don't wanna starve while I'm over exploring. Oh, a fishing hut. Oh, what's this? A cottage, or no, that's like the big, that's a manor, isn't it? Okay, this is like half the fun is seeing how the AI is doing this now. I think we are gonna have to build like a diplomat so that I can explore the rest of their island because it's so big. Okay, their castle is somewhere in the middle in the very interior. They've expanded quite broadly. I, I think I sort of have the tendency to build very compact because I want to like plan for the future and be efficient for the future. Oh, and we actually like see the other person's castle on the map too. There's a church. Yeah, they expand extremely broadly. Maybe I build slow, you know? Because they are all over this place. Uh, but they're building like near walls, you know? The, the, the AI, man, I don't know. I would like to think we're superior to them. I just don't know for certain. Our city's full. We need more homes, see? We're building slow. All right, so we will take a quick break from exploring and pop up another manor. Let's pop up two manors and finish our discovery. Because I want to see what the other guy's up to as well. But we're getting rid of the fog of war. Because these guys are the ones that are closest to me. They could be my greatest threat or my greatest friend. All right, time to explore the other guys. How are we doing over here? Fantastic. And I think I want a baker. But what do bakers need, other than grain? I don't know if they need tools as well. The ship's over here, exploring. So we've got big dragons, Viking invasions, and two potentially hostile AIs. All on like, oh, they got bridges. Look at these guys, they still, they got a mix of hovels and cottages. And remember, this is still like very early alpha for this. A foreign envoy's en route. Hot dog, oh, they got a tower over here. There's their castle, that's cool. Okay, what does the foreign envoy have to say? Queen Gusetti. We have a message from our ruler. Uh, yeah, indeed, we should have much to talk about. Okay, good. We wanted to make them favorable. I think we should make one favorable and the next one that talks to us, we gotta say, hey, we're mean. Just for the sake of like increasing the challenge. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Man, look at the coastal farming here. What are we in the Netherlands? Oh, nice selection of a path. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, they, here's their big city. Look at that little brewery stuck in between these uh, buildings. Now I need to go check in back at home, make sure things are going okay. Food-wise, holy crap. Guys, we have no food. How? All right, what we need to do is put farmers and orchardists are at the highest they can get. Wow. Okay, the grain is now pouring in, but I think we're gonna need a lot more for the future. I think that was pretty close to an, <laughs> that was like what I feared. Exploration ship, you're, you're not supposed to be over here. Oh, the Vikings are invading. I wanted you to explore over there. Okay, so we got this single tower, but we've explored the AI and we've got a Viking invasion to deal with in the next episode. So if you do want to see more kingdoms and castles, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.